Invasive species have been spreading throughout the world for years now. They've traveled to different places by ships, hiding in wood, pets, and many more ways. And the issue is, is that they can easily adapt to any environment. Because of that, these invasive species are taking over environments and cutting out native species. Now 42% of endangered or threatened species are at risk of primarily because of invasive species. They prey on native species, eat the food that these native species need, spread disease, prevent reproduction, change food webs, decrease biodiversity, and alter ecosystem conditions. Can you tell us what kind of birds these are? They hatch from eggs I found in a nest. <laughs> Good heavens! I'm very glad you brought those in, Bart. I'll just get those killed and you can be on your way. <gasps> Wait! What the heck are you doing? My civic duty, that's what. Bolivian tree lizard? Mm-hmm. It's a vicious oviraptor. It feasts on bird eggs and lays its own eggs in the nest. The unsuspecting mother bird cares for them until the babies hatch and devour her, too. <laughs> what a chump! It's already wiped out the dodo, the cuckoo, and the nene. And it has nasty plans for the booby, the titmouse, the woodcock, and the titpecker. How vile! Well, the one thing that mystifies me is how a Bolivian lizard made it to Springfield. <clears throat> that is a puzzlement. <laughs> Our top story, the population of parasitic tree lizards has exploded, and local citizens couldn't be happier. It seems the rapacious reptiles have developed a taste for the common pigeon, also known as the feathered rat or gutter bird. Well, I was wrong. The lizards are a godsend. But isn't that a bit short-sighted? What happens when we're overrun by lizards? No problem. We simply unleash wave after wave of Chinese needle snakes. They'll wipe out the lizards. But aren't the snakes even worse? Yes, but we're prepared for that. We've lined up a fabulous type of gorilla that thrives on snake meat. But then we're stuck with gorillas! No, that's the beautiful part. When wintertime rolls around, the gorillas simply freeze to death. So how do we fix this issue? Unfortunately, there's not a lot we can do at this point. Invasive species have spread throughout so many countries that it's hard to get rid of them at this point. However, the National Wildlife Federation is doing a few things to prevent more invasive species from coming into the U.S. Firstly, they're providing more education so people can identify invasive species and report them. They're also creating mechanisms and monitoring systems to prevent invasive species from coming to the U.S. at all. Although these are small steps, they can help prevent rapid population growth of species that could tear our ecosystems apart. 